What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Captor Clash video. All right guys, this is going to be an important one and I want to talk about some of the mistakes I've made and for you to avoid them completely and make the proper choices to further your account. So the first one I want to talk about real quick guys is going to be stamina management. All right. So if you go to the actual event section here, you're going to notice there's going to be claim by claim by claim by. So definitely get these when they're available. But the one thing I want to note, guys, is when they are not available, they're going to cost you roughly about 20 crystals to absorb 50 stamina. Do not do that. Go into the actual stamina section. Purchase yourself your first stamina by using only 10 of the consumes here, which gives you 50 already. So do not do that, guys. You want 100, you can actually consume 30 rather than consuming 40 here for 100. So first mistake I made as I was buying these instead of actually purchasing stamina directly from here. All right, now the one thing I also wanna note here, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that right now, is what you wanna do with your actual stamina and what you wanna farm. So currently the main things to upgrade your um, account the furthest and the best is going to be farming two different things. Number one, of course, going into adventure mode and farming story, but you're going to eventually hit a point where the power level is too high. So while you wanna bypass that is actually go ahead and farm the hero biography. Make sure you guys go into here and actually farm the units you plan to use. Remember, C units are absolutely viable for a very long time and then eventually B units will take over quite drastically. So go into your sweep section, sweep what you need to sweep here and get yourself some of these units for the cost of your stamina because it's absolutely worth it. So you can see here, I got two there, right? Go into here, get this and then get in here and get some of your C units up as well too. You can see here the stamina now is going down, but that's okay. You'll be able to consume that very quickly, but this is one of the main areas you wanna focus on because getting shards for your characters is gonna to be one of your best upgrades. The second place you wanna actually use your stamina for uh, outside of story mode and bi a biography is the gear section. Now this is very important because gear gives you a ton of power and I'm gonna make a video for you guys in terms of how to gain power the fastest very soon. Um, but gear is one of the ones you definitely want to get up as soon as you can. The moment you level, level it up that way and then go ahead and focus and get yourself some of these uh, equipment here. Now you can just sweep if you've done the stage. If not, you'll have to go back and do the stage manually to get it to three stars. And then you can synthesize this and then refine it and you notice your power gets pretty drastically high and then you have to just redo the steps for all of them. Now, is there a, a, a gear that's better than the other? Absolutely not. So don't worry about it. You guys can focus on getting your gear slowly, but definitely level it up and, and get, it, get it up there because you do want to get your power level up because this game actually does focus on power quite a bit. Even if you have better characters and the powers of the enemies are strong, sometimes you won't be able to finish the level, do the time restraints, or get your three stars that you want to get. All right, so that's another one thing I want to focus on. Now, another mistake I've been making is when you go to the recruit section, I've actually been using my crystals to summon. Don't do that. Instead, what you want to do, guys, is there's a shop, right? If you go to the shop section itself, uh, let me quickly get to that here. I'm sorry, not here. Uh, let's go to the supply shop for a sec. Um, this here is going to be the deals that they offer. Avoid this. There's an actual free-to-play shop in this game. So let me actually just go into my shop right here. And this is where you want to actually focus on, okay? There's going to be a beginner special area. This is what you want to buy, okay? So instead of actually purchasing uh, tickets through normal means, there's actually a bundle here. Where is it? Right over here. Uh, that's 10. Avoid this one. This is the pay to win one. There's actually one that I bought right here that is half the price. So the first thing you should do to get your recruitment tickets is buy this one for 1000 something. It's half the price and it's absolutely worth it. You have to log in for two days in order to get that one. Okay. Next one here is you want to buy is you're going to focus on getting yourself the character one. Okay. So let's go to the characters real quick. Get yourself this character right here, Zoya the Wild Hunt. Um, and she's absolutely amazing. So 1000% worth it. Focus on that one next. So don't spend it on summoning because you're only going to get shards most of the time. Get yourself the actual character. And then to get power boost, the Cat Spirit Bundle is absolutely key for 150. Get that one. You have to log in two days as well. And then three days you can get this to level up your mech quite high. And then of course, get yourself these other bonuses for characters. And any of these things that you can get with regular crystals right here is absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. And we'll talk about power in a second and how to get it up. 
So definitely, guys, focus on getting some of these. Like this, this, uh, this uh, handle is really good, uh, and a lot of these fragments here are actually worth getting as well too. So this beginner special shop is where you want to spend most of your crystals. Do not spend it on recruiting; it is a waste of money. Uh, special offers, another really good place too. You want to focus on. There's again a lot of good things here, like 450 crystals to get yourself. Uh, 100 cat gems plus Hanno. Uh, this is for EXP for equipment, which you'll unlock soon. Again, we'll talk about power very shortly. And then Hero Specials here is another really good one that you may want to spend it on. 40 fragments is quite a bit for Mina the Blaster. You can unlock her or you can uh, get her up. And B-class characters are much, much stronger than C-class characters. So another spot you definitely want to do. Uh, this upgrade shop you can avoid for a little while. There really isn't anything worthwhile here. Gameplay shop, this is what you're going to get through just playing the game. So don't worry about this too much. You'll just get it over time. Time, but definitely spend it on the shards that you need uh, and then pvp shop of course when you do pvp you'll get yourself some of these limits uh you can get yourself one of the hathor the uh the uh, hope apostle or zoya the destroyer or vanna the shy sc uh, scrape but really you want to focus on this one which is legendary equipment that's the key one here that you want to get because your equipment is another great way to boost your power okay you can see there that's a massive boost right there so these are the kind of things you want to focus on now speaking of power let's talk about power a little bit okay what's the fastest way to gain power so number one we talked about gear definitely focus on getting your gear up fragments from the hero biography was another one i mentioned so if you go here and you get your fragments up through the biography it's a great way to get it uh to get more power so definitely put some focus into that and then the other one here is your cat spirit. Now cat spirits, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on it because I think it's a very important one that everybody needs to learn about. But cat spirits here, keep in mind, you can unlock as many as you want and use all of these. Okay, so you can see here I'm unlocking them and my power is going up. But the main thing here you wanna do is the affection part. Okay, you actually wanna feed your affection to any cat. It doesn't matter who it is. The stats all attribute to the, to the character, not the cat itself. So keep that in mind. So very important. And then lastly, your mecha. Your mecha, even if you have the one, if you get it up, you can see here my power is increasing because the stats here apply to all your characters. Okay, so it's very important, guys, to put as much in this as you can. Now keep in mind, Hanno will start getting depleted fairly quickly. So that's going to be a big one. Plus, when you do this, you get yourself another unlocked at 200. So there you go. A new one mech opened up. More stats for you. But again, keep in mind, your Hanno is going to get drained. Speaking of which, keep in mind right now, there is an event going on, so make sure you focus on getting these events. All right, next one, 10 day event. This is absolutely critical for character gain, okay? If you guys are not doing this, you should be focusing on this. It's gonna be one, two, and three. Get it all done every day. You get yourself characters unlocked, and at the end of it all, you're gonna get yourself this A character here, uh, Renai, the daughter of the, I uh, forgot her full, full title, but you can see here, you're getting yourself a lot of characters. Now, this here specifically is a key one. You get Cecilia the Pharmacist, who is an actual healer, and then look how many shards you get for her along the way. So she's gonna be a big time DPS for you throughout this entire game. But uh, Renai, a daughter of the Abyss, is going to be your main goal so definitely focus on getting that up now cp growth this is another reason why you want to level up because you're going to get yourself all these additional rewards along the way including crystals mecha armor some of these orbs which you actually show you what you'll do uh which if you see equipment there's an ability section here you can put in all of your stuff in here and absorb it and you get yourself upgrades okay and this will also boost your power so there are many many ways to boost power equipment is going to be one you'll have to unlock later on as you play but absolutely worth it all right guys so those are some of the bigger things i wanted to focus on uh this game so far has been absolutely free to play friendly for me so i've been enjoying the hell out of it i'll be doing more videos but please 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 avoid the mistakes of spending your crystals incorrectly of spending your crystals on the wrong stamina things i just showed you how to use stamina right there and where do you stamina and the fastest way to gain yourself um, some of the uh, power that you're looking for to advance further in the game. Oh, and also, also just want to point out, you're gonna, you, when you get into exploration, you're going to unlock challenges. Make sure you do these challenges every day. Your daily team challenge, which gives you cat stuff. Uh, your daily tournaments, which gives you uh, some mecha items. And then lastly, when you unlock challenge here, you're going to do Abyss Maze, which is your tower. 100% start focusing on that. And then lastly, Team Assault, what you'll get when you start doing actual uh, equipment when you unlock that. So, Advance further in the game, and the more you get, the more you unlock. All of these modes should be done daily. There are a ton of things to do, and the game is absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Payne. I'll see you guys in the next one.